This is MAG212 and this is a little crash course called Electronics 101. So in this video I'm going to cover the basic techniques of how to solder wires. Many Nerf modders don't do this and you could probably go to other sites, they're probably more knowledgeable people than me, but I know how to do it well enough and I've been doing it for quite a while. So what you have to do is you have to get a soldering iron. This is a 60 watt soldering iron and I have this little base. A base is absolutely essential because you need somewhere to put your soldering iron so you don't burn a hole through the ground. And you also need a sponge or wet paper towel. You're also going to need red and black wire. I'm going to talk about the importance of di having different colors and what kind of wire is right for you. You're also going to need solder. You can use any kind of solder, make sure it's lead free because lead is not very good for you. Sometimes you'll also need electrical tape, I'll go over the importance of that. And absolutely, wire strippers and wire cutters. These wire strippers come with wire cutters built in, so I'm just going to be using this for now. So what you're going to want to do first is heat up your soldering iron. It should take about 5 or 10 minutes depending on how many watts you have it on. You're going to want to tin the tip of your soldering iron, and I won't go over this in this video, but you can check out other videos on YouTube to see how you could do that. That just extends the life of your soldering tip, and it's very helpful so you don't have to go buy new tips frequently. I'm going to be showing you how to solder wires to your motor. I've already soldered two wires right here. Red wire indicates positive, and black wire indicates negative. It's important not... these they're exactly the same, they just have different rubber coatings on the outside, but it helps you distinguish what's positive and what's negative, and that's very important as an electrician. The type of wire that I use, I use 18 gauge stranded wire, and I, I don't know, that's just my preference. Oftentimes, I've used solid copper wire on a rapid strike or something, and if you pull too hard or move it in any direction, it will rip a port off of your circuit board. That means you can no longer use that port, and depending on how serious it is, your gun could be broken. Electrical tape you're going to need when you have a red and a wire pos red and a black wire possibly touching that's why it's important to know which wire is what because let's say you have a black wire coming out of the negative on a battery and a red wire coming out of the positive on a battery if those wires touch it could short out the circuit and it could probably start a fire or something depending on what kind of battery you're using. I know that if you connect the positive and negative terminal when you're running a lipo battery you can definitely start a fire or something. Now I'm actually going to show you the technique to solder. So take your solder in one hand and just have a little strand out like that. Take your iron, you could hold it however, I just hold it like I'm using a pencil. And after you use your soldering iron, you're going to want to just dab it on your towel or your wet sponge to clean off the solder because that could damage your tip if you leave it on too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply heat there and use my solder. And as you can see it melts and it forms a little perfect bubble. So now you're done, clean off your soldering iron, put it back. And then just grab the wire. This is the positive wire. Hasbro used white, so I'm just going with it. And you kind of touch that to the dried solder like this. And take your soldering iron and kind of just melt the solder onto the wire and push the wire down. It's good to do it very quickly because if you don't, the wire could heat up and it could burn your finger because it'll run through the wire and it'll get very hot. So just let that dry. Maybe you want to hold it there. If it gets too hot, don't worry about it drying. Just let go and try again. Sometimes I like to blow it because that'll dry the solder faster. And it's connected very well. Sometimes I find it helpful. It's definitely not good technique, so someone will probably tell you it's not. But melt the solder on your iron and then put the solder down so you have one hand free. And you can hold the wire and then p just put the solder on it with your soldering iron and that's very helpful sometimes you need that sometimes you can't just have two hands because you need to hold the wire in place in order for it to be positioned correctly this video doesn't just have to be for nerf it can be for other soldering techniques i know you can definitely use some of these tips in 
a robotics team if you happen to be on a robotics team. I'm actually in high school right now. I just finished my first year and I'm thinking of going on the robotics team next year because I've had enough experience with technology and LEDs, soldering, and I think next time I'm going to make a tutorial for you guys on how to wire LEDs. But in the meantime, that concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed it and definitely learned something. Thanks for watching.